Today on Just Another Game Review, you're going to get to watch me punch Randy right in the virtual mouth. So, Randy, for those that don't know, what is UFC 3? UFC 3? Fighting game. <laughs> As always, Randy is correct. It is a fighting game. You know what UFC stands for? Yeah, uh, Ultimate Fighting Championship. Bonus point. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know we were being scored, but <laughs> I'm evidently in the lead. So. <laughs> UFC 3 is a fighting game. Mm -hmm. uh, it's the latest fighting game out right now for EA Sports. I haven't played a lot of UFC lately. The last one I played was 2010, I think, Undisputed for the PS3. Had Brock Lesnar on the cover. I yeah, mean, which of course came out in like 2010. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. The title just gives it away. Yeah. <laughs> That's been a while. It's been a while ago. Would you consider yourself a UFC fan? No. Me either. I, uh, I mean, I've watched a few here and there, but I don't get hyped for it. Like, I don't wear the no. tap out shirts. <laughs> yeah, like, no, I'm not much of a UFC fan, which is going to make this review interesting. Yeah. Because, spoiler alert. I had a lot of fun. I did too. Did you? I had a lot of fun with this game. The fights feel realistic in this game. And uh, I don't know what it is. I mean, the striking system was my favorite part. Like, yeah. being able to stand up and, like, everything was so fluid. And when you knock someone out, it just really felt like you were in there, like, just I can't, them. I can't attest to that because I don't know the realisticness of it. Never been in a fight. So I couldn't tell you if it felt like getting punched in the mouth or not. So I guess uh, the first thing we should talk about, really, is gameplay. I mean, that's basically all this game is, is gameplay. I think the gameplay is really good. I really like the mechanics they used. It felt realistic. Obviously, you got your combos, your punches, and your kicks, mm -hmm. and uh, grappling, and stuff like that. But yeah, with your left stick, if you hold L1, I think, you can bob and weave, and mm -hmm. like you can go in pretty much any direction you want. But you can also jab and do combos out of that, so you like. Go back and jab, and anything, like any punch you can throw, you can throw out of a bob and weave. Mm -hmm. And like, but if you go the wrong way, let's say you bob left, no, uh, throw left hook. You're exactly right. The gameplay was solid. I will say this though: the gameplay of the stand-up I thought was solid. Yes. The the punching, kicking, mixed martial arts aspect of the stand-up at times honestly felt felt more like a chess match than a fighting game. Yeah. It was. It was very fun. It yeah. was a lot of fun. It just felt like cat and mouse sometimes, just trying to sneak in a shot and then protect yourself or dodge out of the way before the return fire happens. Once the game went to the ground, it I won't say the game was bad, but that fun and exciting level... It slowed down. It slowed way down. Um, yeah. I think their, their ground game has a lot to work yeah. on. And I'm not, I'm not a huge MMA fan. I don't know all of the nomenclature and uh, <laughs> yeah. what the game should be like on the ground, but it just didn't feel right for a game. And maybe it was pretty realistic, but it didn't work well in a in a, yeah. in a a virtual aspect. And, I mean, the grappling system in general, it's, I mean, really hard to translate in a video game format. Mm -hmm. uh, like, yeah, it could be better. I don't know what they would do to make that better. Yeah, I mean, it's not my job to tell them what to do to yeah. make it better. It's my job to tell them that they need to make it better. Yeah, and it's their job to figure it out. Actually, it's my job to deliver mail. It's, <laughs> I just do this for fun. Yeah, true. The gameplay was really good, though, because yeah. even though the ground game was a little bit shaky at times and not as fun as the stand-up, the stand-up more than made... Made up for it, yeah. yeah. completely made up for it. It was a lot of fun. And if you didn't like going to the ground, just get good at pressing R2 and down and stop them from taking you to the ground. Yeah, exactly. Just get good. <laughs> just get good, <laughs> folks. Um, what was your favorite game mode? Career mode. Career mode? Yes. Really? I loved, I loved the way that they did it. I didn't think I would because um, you get into this where you, you schedule a fight. You, you have to, you know, you're trying to make more fans, more yeah. money, whatever. But you got to do all this training in between, which is, you know, I'm guessing that's what they, they do in real life. They have to do training for months to get prepared Maybe. for a fight. I didn't think I would like that. I'm just like, let's get into a fight, yeah. you know? And I mean, that's what we're here for. Yeah. I didn't, I didn't sign up, basically, to go do setups in a gym. If I wanted to do that, I'd have got a gym membership. But it became a little game in itself. I yeah. enjoyed learning new moves and managing my social media account on there and 
Next thing I know, I'm like, well, just one more fight in my career, 20 minutes of training and stuff, and whatever, yeah. and then the wife and kid's already asleep, and I'm still awake playing <laughs> UFC. <laughs> I liked the career mode. I really did. Um, I didn't think I would either. I liked the training aspect of it, uh, where you could manage your moves. Mm-hmm. I thought it could be a little harder, though. I mean, I did play it on normal. There was a harder difficulty. Yes. But, um, because, like you said, you could do all this stuff, but I ignored the social media. I ignored, like, all the like, fan options you could do. And mm-hmm. I put all of the training time that you had allotted to you. I used it all for training, either learning moves or working on attributes. So my dude was 100 overall on everything. Okay. I knew every move there was to know. And I still had, then after that, I put everything into my social media and the fans or whatever and money. And I had all that maxed out, too. So it's like... Okay, so it really wasn't as deep as it looked on the surface. You could still do everything without even really doing anything. Yeah. Kind of. Maybe uh, a harder mode might not have been like that. But yeah. I guess I played on normal, so... Like, when I first started the career mode, and my dude was like a 68 overall, and he sucked at everything, mm-hmm. the fights were really tough, even on normal. So, like, them fights were real fun. Yeah. But once I started climbing, got to a 90 plus overall, and was knocking everybody out in the first, tapping them out in the first round, it mm-hmm. just it wasn't that fun anymore. And like I said, maybe if I played a harder difficulty, it would be more challenging, and I'd get more fun from it. I think the rival system needs a lot of work. Uh, I think they put that together really quick. They just pick a random fighter, he sends you a message like, "Hey, you're ugly." You can do the stoic option, like hashtag just another fight. <laughs> <laughs> You can do the happy one where it's like, hey, you're a good fighter. I bet we'll have a good match. <laughs> or you can do the mean one where it said, My I, your mom. <laughs> <laughs> we must have played different careers because that was not an option in any of my rivals' things. I, piggybacking off of that, I will say that along with the rival option needing to be, needing to be a little bit better, um, <laughs> The problem I had was they should have added new fighters. Because yeah. I, there's always up-and-coming new fighters in, in UFC, uh, I noticed. and <laughs> I mean, I guess. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. But, <laughs> but um, one thing that was happening was once you start playing the career for quite some time, you know, you're 40 and 0 or whatever because, you know, you get so good you just keep tapping people out. Yeah. And you're fighting John Jones for the 700th time and he's... When it does like the tail of the tape, and John Jones is sixty-eight years old, yes. you're like, maybe they should have like, you know, maybe a new up-and-coming guy. That way, it like mixed it up. Yeah. Grimmett versus Jones, eighty-seven. <laughs> Battle of the Crutches. Uh, another thing I noticed that uh, they could improve was uh, the venues. All look the same. Whether you were like in the beginning of your career mode fighting in some dude's gym, <laughs> or you were saying. Fighting a title fight again for the belt, like the same crowd. The presentation. Same. Yeah, the presentation is all the same. Yeah, I, I I will agree. It did need to look a little bit more exciting at times. Um, <laughs> I thought the commentary was decent though. Like, they, it felt yeah. exciting at times. Yeah. Like some of it was just bland, but when you got like the right hit on somebody, they got excited, and yeah, sometimes it made me excited. I mean, I liked it. Some there were some miscues. Like, sometimes I'd whiff and they'd be like, "Whoa, good hit." Or, yeah, yeah, yeah. But oh no, I liked it. It was pretty good. Yeah. Uh, let's talk about the rest of the game modes. Um, it, is, it is an EA Sports game, so yes. therefore there's Ultimate Team. Which is terrible. Um, not. It is the worst version of any Ultimate Team I've ever seen. Yes. I, I didn't play much of it at all because it just wasn't fun. You got into it a little bit? I tried because I'll play any Ultimate Team. <laughs> if it's got a core game, I'm in. <laughs> <laughs> it's sad to say that that is very... It, it's very hooking. Like, yeah. addicting. Yeah, it is. And, uh... And I'm like usually really good at uh, playing an ultimate team over free. You know what I'm saying? Or mm-hmm. figuring out the little tricks and uh, things you can do to build a really good team without spending any money. And it's just not possible. They have a, a couple other game modes. Uh, knockout mode, which is uh, commentated by Snoop Dogg, which yeah. right, caught me off guard the first time he started talking. I was like, whoa, what happened? Yeah. <laughs> but that doesn't really add anything to it. And all it is is it's, it's kind of like a typical fighting game. I mean, yeah, they added the life bar, and as soon as it depletes, you're you're knocked out. Like, there mm-hmm. is no head damage, leg damage, anything like that. It kind of turns into, like, Street Fighter or Mortal Kombat. Yeah, as soon as it's over. I mean, as soon as you get hit too many times, and, like, one hit takes, like, two of those things away. So it's like, they, them fights are really quick. Yeah. 
Uh, Which they, is is all right. It's all right. It's not nothing I spend any time in. No, it's a. Uh... It's more of a casual game mode. Yeah, yeah. And then <laughs> that brings us to Stand and Bang, which is another mode. Yeah, Stand and Bang is like knockout mode, but you don't have the health bar. So it's all based on your stamina and the health bar of your body parts, like your head, body, uh, legs, stuff like that. So it's like, it, it's it's essentially the traditional UFC, but you can't go to the ground. Yeah, there's no submissions. It's the regular game, but with no submissions and no grappling. Yeah. But then you get into online, which... Is what a lot of people nowadays will probably take yeah. their time into. And I didn't have a really good experience with online. It was very laggy for me. It was kind of laggy for me. And, I mean, I got a PS4 Pro, so I might should have a little bit better connection. But, mm-hmm. I mean, I got decent internet, so it shouldn't be laggy. Yeah, I've got good internet as well. And I, I had <clears throat> I had a very hard time getting an opponent that... And it could be because, I mean, the game has been out over a year. Maybe there's just not that many people on, and it's finding people really far away from us. I haven't. I didn't have a problem finding a match. Like even real late at night, I would get matches. Mm-hmm. The thing, like we just bought this game a week ago, right? Yeah. And so the people that are playing right now have probably been playing for a while. Yeah. We just started. <laughs> <laughs> so I mean, I did win a few matches, but ninety percent of my loss and lost. <laughs> yeah, it, it was, uh, but it can be fun. If you put some yeah. time into it and get good and you get lucky and there's no mm-hmm. lag, playing against people is is the fun in the game. That brings us to the best part of the game, really, which is just getting your friends together and yeah. you know, fighting each other. Uh, it was a lot of fun, and we had what well, Aaron came over and we all three played each other for quite some time. Yeah. And uh, I'm undefeated, actually, so there's that. No. <laughs> I mean, yeah, he's undefeated, <laughs> but he watched me beat Aaron six times and he was like hey I just watched everything you do let's play <laughs> he's very calculated okay. they mainly played while I was doing editing for the show and I I did maybe see everything that Randy liked to do it was just like I'll just stop that <laughs> a little bit of scouting and came in with my crazy kicks and just knocked him out calculated. and then didn't play him again I had to do some editing calculated <laughs> It's still fun, though. Yeah, the moral of the story is if you ever win a game against one of your friends, quit playing immediately. (laughs) So that when you do go on YouTube, you can tell people that they've never (laughs) beat you. (laughs) All in all, with our time with UFC, I had actually a really good time. And uh, what would you you rate this game, Andy? I had a lot of fun, too. I would give it an 8.2. Because, like I said, the stand-up game is amazing. Submission needs some work, and there's like a lot of uh, minor things they can fix. And, I mean, I did have a lot of fun while I was playing with you guys, but that's true with any game. If I'm playing any game, like, it could be the worst game in the world. If I'm playing with you guys, or any friend, it's, you're going to have fun. No yeah, what. Couch Co-op does boost everything a little yeah. bit. I'll give you that. So, but, I mean, I play, any game I play, I like to go straight to the online head-to-head. Mm-hmm. And that was rough, just because I'm not willing to put the time in to get better right now. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's understandable. So, I'll give it an 8.2. Okay. The solid, solid score, really, for a yeah. UFC game. What about you? What would you score it? I would give it probably like a 9.1, which, really? is, which is a lot higher than I would have thought. Like, if you were just like, hey, we're going to review a UFC game, what would you give it? I'm like, I don't like UFC. Right? I'm going to yeah. give it a 5. <laughs> no, I played this game, and honestly, to me, this is a mark of a good game. If it can, if it can transcend just the game, because yeah. I played hours <laughs> and hours and hours of career mode, the yeah. next thing I knew, my timeline on YouTube is filled with UFC fights because I was like, <laughs> Conor McGregor? He looks cool. Let's watch all of his fights. Right. John Jones, let's watch all of his fights. Next thing I know, I've watched every fight in the last like six months and didn't even <laughs> care about the UFC. <laughs> I knew Zach was watching more UFC videos because we were in Discord, and he said, I just rocked this guy. I've never heard him say it before in my life. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I, I started. To, I watched a lot of UFC videos and picked up on the lingo. I guess I didn't even know I did that, but it's whatever. I I still wouldn't consider myself a UFC fan, but while we played this game, I started watching some MMA fights. I I had a good time yeah. playing the game, and that made me watch some fights. And I did too. I was uh, like YouTube and older fights. Yeah, like, uh, that I watched a long time ago. Yeah. If if a game that you don't care about the genre can make you sort of a fan of the genre, I think that makes it a pretty good game. Yeah. And that's the reason that I'm going to give it a 9.1. And only thing I take away from it is the Ultimate Team is it's awful. Yeah. It's a cash grab. <laughs> they need to work on the ground game. But when you if if and when they release a UFC <laughs> 4, which it's EA Sports, they release nonstop stuff. Another point. This year's 
more than a year old. Yeah. And there's not a year, like, every yeah, this other is a, franchise is year-to-year basis just for that money grab. And I think that's one of the reasons why UFC is, is a pretty good game. They have the time to develop in yeah. between. And that makes me excited for if they make a UFC 4. I'll, yeah. I'll get the game and I'll hopefully have as much fun. Yeah, like, I'll probably UFC get 3. UFC 4 when it comes out. Okay. Yeah, and and that's saying something, because again, I know we've said this a hundred times. And it's EA Sports. Yeah. And, like, we're always skeptical of them. <laughs> yeah, we really are, but again, we're not UFC fans, and yeah. it made us kind of be a little bit of a UFC fan. But that's going to do it for us today. We had a lot of fun with this game, and hopefully you had fun watching us. Um, again, we're Randy and Zach. We're just another game review, and if you want to, leave a comment below, like, favorite, subscribe if you liked us. If you didn't, do the same anyway. I'm not going to tell you not to. Right. Yeah. If you don't mind, if you've been punched in the face before and you've played UFC 3, let us know if it's similar. Yeah. I bet it is.